Alright, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take this Raspberry Pi 3 and this is the Pi 3 model that I just had laying around the house and I'm going to finally do something with it. I'm going to install the Raspberry Pi Sense hat and this is just the installation video on how to install the hat itself on the device. And we're doing that because on the back here it says we could do a gyroscope, an oscillometer, a magnometer, a barometer, a temperature sensor, relatively humidity sensor, a color sensor, and it has an 8x8 LED matrix display, and a small 5 button joystick. So in later videos I'll probably um, mess around with that and show you guys how to do all that stuff. So let's get started on the install. Alright, so when you take it out of the box, you'll have this little piece right here. This is your LED lights, and then over here this little thing here is the joystick. You can move this little button up and down, left, right, and uh, mess around with that. And this is going to be installed on the Pi. Um, the other thing that we have up here is we have this little package. It has the expander, has a little post and little screws in it. Okay, so we got the hat right here, and we got these little like um, mounts right there. And basically what we're going to end up doing is just putting them on the bottom right here and then taking the screw and screw it in and on top. Um, and we do that on each one of these holes. And once we do that, um, we'll be back. I'm not going to show you screwing it in. I think we all know how to do that. Alright, so we got the mount installed. So we got the one, we got the two, we got the three, we got the four, and we got the screws on top right there. Okay. So then we have the Pi, and we have this piece right here. And if you notice, it will fit just perfectly up there, and it will keep everything off. Now you notice we have the pins right here, and it, there's no connection to sense hat. That's because we didn't put the extender on. So to do that, it's actually pretty easy. To do the extender, you just look where the black piece is right here. And then on the back side, there's little holes right there. And you just put those pins right in there. You just line them up and you snap it in. Alright, so once you have this piece right here snapped in, and again, you know, so you have that and then you have the extender. And just kind of push down, just make sure you have a good connection. Then you just take the pie and you just do the same thing. We're going to put the pins right there and we're going to push down and we're going to snap it in. Alright, so we do get this um, snapped in. Just make sure that, again, just make sure everything's flush in there. And once we're done here, we got the four holes in the bottom and we got extra screws. And we just screw them in just for to um, keep it extra tight. Alright, so I got the screws in on the bottom so this thing's all put together. Now, let's um, put some power to it. I'm going to do that. I got this PoE um, device right here because this is a um, Pi 3, so I don't have a PoE hat. And it's pretty simple to use. We just have to take the power and then plug it in the power area right here. And then we actually got the Ethernet and we just kind of clip it in. And then we'll have to plug it into the um, PoE um, switch. All right, so I got my um, cable that goes my PoE switch, and we'll go ahead and plug this in. And then look at that, got those lights working. And installing that is just you know simple as that. All right, so now that we um, installed everything, the thing that we need to do is we need to inside of Raspberry Pi go up here to our terminal and we got to make sure that the software installed so we just do sudo apt install sense hat and then we make sure those packages are loaded and really it doesn't get any simpler than that and then once that installed we're ready to use our sense hat and then um, <coughs> So that's pretty much it for this video and what we'll end up doing is in the um, next videos I'm going to go over 
some of the stuff that's on the back of this and <clears throat> see if I can get that to work. All right. Um, see you guys next time.